told Connie, and she laughed and laughed and laughed. And it was very funny, right? Uh, having, having a little trouble there, all right? First of all, before we go any further, I want you to know the Mets just beat the Red Sox, 7 to 1. I'm from New York. Edgar lived in New England a long time, so I don't favor one section over the other. I'm kind of bisexual, okay? Now, my next guest, as you can hear, a lot's going on. Her favorite movie of all time is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. She is called the High Priestess of Metal, the Evil Knievel of Rock, Joan Crawford and Torpedo Bra. Will you please help me welcome Miss Wendy O. Williams? not stand for overdressed. Uh, that I'll tell you. You look great. What a you. pleasure to meet you. Yes. Now, who picks your clothes? <laughs> what can I say? I wear what's comfortable. I always wear what's comfortable. But how do you... This outfit was particularly comfortable. That was a lot of what now? That, that's those those pants of... are painted on, Joan. Oh, I, well, so are those. <laughs> so are those. These, these are zippered on. Oh. <laughs> now, you're a simple girl from Rochester, New York. Oh, please. What happened? <laughs> what can I say? I just didn't fit in. I just oh. didn't fit in. Did you ever think that you... Did you always know you were right and they were wrong? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I just didn't fit in. I don't know. I mean, it just... It's just... I don't know. It just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. I mean, I had to... I had to break some rules. I had to, you know... Oh. Follow Joan Rivers' footsteps. Oh, I, I, I understand totally. But growing up as a child, were you always this outrageous? 
You know what I'm saying? I never fit in. I were, never fit were in. Were you a Girl Scout? Were you a Cub Scout? I, were... I never, 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 never fit in. Did you, did you see? Did you see my new tattoo? No. Did you no. see my new tattoo? I, this, this is my old tattoo. That's this is one old. This is. I love sex and rock and roll. This is my initials. W O W. Fabulous. And, and this is this is my brand oh, new one. Oh my goodness. This is my brand new one. <laughs> you, what, is, United this, Federation of the Universe. That's right. I didn't want to leave anyone out. No. <laughs> I didn't. I am. Joan, I think you're a woman who's got everything. Yeah, I think you're a woman that's got a great yeah. body. Look yeah. at your body. Incredible. You went skydiving naked. I, that's something I always wanted to do. And I loved having someone put up the money so I could do it. Who put up the money? Playboy magazine. I, they, for two years, they just were on me about, you know, like they wanted me to do something. And I just, I've got a list of things I want to do. And finally, when they said, well, what do you want to do? I, um... Said I want to walk on the wing of a plane. I want to do some skydiving, and they didn't pick out the most exciting photos, because I think, um, you know, 50 percent of the people in the world have uh, breasts, yeah. but 50 percent of the people in the world don't walk on the wing of a plane, and they certainly mm. didn't pick the most exciting pictures out of the thousands but, that they had in my eyes. But I had a good time doing it. But weren't you scared when you were going down naked? What if you went off course? <laughs> What if you didn't land in the field where they were waiting with a blanket for you? What if you landed, you know, like in Chicago? <laughs> I mean, that, that would, were you worried all about that? I, it was, it's, it's, just, it's just like when you, at night sometimes you have those dreams like you're flying. Yeah. And you just feel so good about it. It's just a t total freedom. It's just it's the most fabulous feeling in the world. Now, you blo broke up with the plasmatics, right? No, you left the, no, 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 no. The plasmatics. Tell me. It's just like a concept that Rod Swenson and I came up with. And when I worked with Gene Simmons, I couldn't call that a plasmatic album because it's, you know, it's Gene Simmons and a right. Wendy album. And, and then I, you know, like, and then I've been practicing my chops and there's, there's rumors going around that, uh, that I won't deny or, um, you know, say that are really true that uh, there's uh, going to be the first plasmatic album in four years, uh, 10th anniversary. Oh, be great. One, com one be coming great. out in February. Be great. But, uh, be well, I, I, look at this. Nobody, well, I am uh, thrilled, and Melissa Rosenberg is thrilled, and a lot of other people I know are thrilled. And I gotta tell you, Joan, I gotta tell you, too, I, you're, you're the woman with everything, and I, I've got a, a great idea for you. Tell like, me. I, I really, you, you don't have any tattoos, Joan. Do you have a tattoo? No, no, and I should. I know a great guy. The next time I come to L.A., I want to get another tattoo. And I'll I... go with you. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, we have to put it somewhere that not too many people know where it is. All right, I got a great so guy. So you can put it anywhere on me. I got a great guy. I got a great guy. If you put Joan, I'll put Wendy. All right. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back with Elliot Gould at this message. I'll do it with you. <laughs> It was so unfair. So unfair, yes. It was. But yeah, anyway, well. um, you know, everyone's been bringing you gifts, Joan. And I brought something from Tiffany's. Oh! For you. That's very sweet of you. I want to get credit for this. It isn't clean enough to put in your mouth. Don't take it home and sleep with it. And this song is. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This song is work that muscle and ooh that body.
Newport Beach. 